hey there peoples of YouTube land and all sorts of people and cats and dogs I know cats and dogs have figured out how to watch YouTube videos by now if not what the hell what the hell's going on sober have you figured out how to watch YouTube videos yet well you better start get your act together okay get your act together <laughs> Well, guys, um, this video is going to be about some more in-depth details of Slap City if you're thinking about coming here and hanging out. Um, where should I start? I've had a lot of questions over time, and I just haven't made a video on it, but here we go. <coughs> Yes, that just happened. Um, so, first of all, the nearest town is three miles down the road. It's the town of Neyland, California. The nearest Walmart, well, the, the town of Neyland's got uh, a laundromat and a little convenience store and stuff. Um, and a restaurant and a motel there actually um, but the nearest Walmart is in the town of Brawley B-R-A-W-L-E-Y and that's a much larger town and that's 18 miles away from the slabs around 20 actually because you gotta go down the you gotta drive the three three miles um, what else are the questions? Where you can get water? Well, you can obviously get water in Brawley at the Walmart, you know. Get some get some uh, five gallon jugs of, you know, water that you can keep in your camper or whatnot. There's also, there is a guy out here that for 40 bucks he will bring a stand and then put a 50 gallon uh, 50 gallon barrel of, wa of water on top of it for you and then to refill it it's 10 bucks after that so but the first initial charge but sometimes I don't know I've I haven't seen him around at all so I don't know um, let me chew on the sandwich here for a minute and I will think up more to tell you all right sorry if the camera's shaking guys um, another big question that a lot of people might have is, is it safe? And, um, that's going to really depend on who you hang out with, who you, uh, that's one of, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, choose your friends carefully. Um, and where you park, you, where you decide to camp, that's also going to be a big factor. I camp around I camp in a good neighborhood here. When I'm not here, I've got all these old people surrounded by, surrounding me. They don't really go to the events and stuff around here. They just usually keep to themselves. And a lot of the times they have nothing better to do than um, watch what's going on around in the neighborhood. I mean, literally all day and all night. So I never have to worry about my camp getting messed with when I'm not here or something. There's no way you can even get in this neighborhood without a few of the dogs barking, and they know that. So... Um, is it safe though? If you come out here looking for trouble and you want to come out here like a tough guy and stuff like that, I guess I could say, you're going to find it. I guarantee you. That's, but that's pretty much anywhere. Um, I 
I think it's pretty much cool. I mean, if you have a little street smarts, you know, you don't go around making enemies and you definitely respect your neighbors. That's that's the big number one here. You respect your neighbors. Um, you probably won't have any problems. Um, let me think of a few more. Sorry for the chewing and talking with my mouth full and stuff. And for the camera shaking. Hold on. When you're coming to find a camp spot here, it's really important that <clears throat> you find one and then once you think you might want to camp there, ask the neighbors around if they mind if you camp there. That's a big thing. Um, also, I know so a lot of YouTubers are going to be coming down this, this year that have YouTube channels and stuff and they're thinking they're going to get a whole bunch of interviews and stuff with people and stuff like that but and they think they're going to have their camera out and everything like that but that is a really easy way to make enemies out here um, there are people that do a lot of people most people don't want to be on camera down here there's a select few around here that don't mind, but they might find a few snowbirds or something like that, which which is cool, you know, but people kind of shrug whenever you bring out a camera around here. That's why I haven't brought mine out much. And the people that I am friends with that don't mind uh, the cameras and stuff, I'm I'm already friends with and stuff like that, and I really haven't ever brought up uh, put it, putting them on YouTube or anything, because, I don't know, but, um, yeah, if, if the whole idea is to come down here and, like, do a bunch of interviews and then do a tour of Slab City and all that stuff like that, people sit outside and they watch, you know, They'll be watching you drive by, driving by with your camera and stuff, and uh, I don't know. You'll get what I mean. These the YouTubers from the YouTube channels will get what I mean when they actually get here and stuff. But it's just something to be careful of. They might approach it way differently than me or or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what'll happen, but yeah. All right, hold on. I'm gonna think of some more. Hey guys, sorry about, oops, did I just turn the recorder off? No. Yeah, I had to get something in my stomach. Sorry about the, all the chewing and all that. Um, and most importantly guys, just remember that if you come down here, stop by and say hi. I'm a good guy. Yep. And for all the new subscribers and stuff, um, if you're interested, I've got, oh, well, I can show you. I've got a lot of answers in a, I wrote a book called Living Free, Tips and Tricks for Living Off the Grid. And I will show you the chapters in it. <sighs> Uh, let's see here. Okay. The chapter is, chapter one is buy cash or don't buy. Um, chapter two is how to become debt free. Chapter three is psychological preparedness for off-grid living. Chapter four is mini home, van, or RV. Um, chapter 5 is where to look for cheap land or vehicle. Chapter 6 is solar power. That's really in detail. Um, chapter 7, where to find free food. I've been eating a lot of free food down here. Um, which I'm probably going to have to do a video on so at some point. Uh, but this is more in detail and stuff. Uh, chapter 8, places you can live for free. 
Chapter 9, How to Get a Free Home. Yep, that's for real. That just happened. And Chapter 10, What to Look for When Stealth Camping. And Chapter 11, Insider Secrets to Living Free. Uh, the people that have gotten it and read it said they really liked it. And I think that you guys can get some good stuff off of it. Um, if you want to purchase it, just um, I'll send you the ebook because I can't order hard copies out here. I'll send you the ebook in PDF format in your email. Just um, and send me fourteen dollars to my PayPal, and then just just go on my page my channel page and there'll be a link there that says buy my ebook or donate and the PayPal thing will say donate you know but just make it fourteen dollars and then I'll just know to email it to you and then you could also put in the note this is for this is for your ebook so alright guys sober girl sober good girl say goodbye to sober Oh, sober. Who's your boo boo? Diddle diddles, waka wakas. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.